Hello and welcome back to another Methods of a Peeper. This is Methods of a Peeper 2 uh, and here's a row of peepers here, uh, the ones feeling their faces there and uh, this is normal Bob Smith narrating. Very excited about this video today. Uh, those two peepers there, Lips, and that's Lips's friend right there. Um, Lips's friend is new to the park. I don't believe I've seen him before. Um, what I had gathered watching them today was that uh, uh, Lips was telling his friend about this part, how it's perfect for peeping, uh, because I was because they've been doing it together, uh, and it looks like they're doing everything together, feeling their faces together, wearing the same hat, uh, picking out their shirts and everything. Uh, uh, I hope that this is one of the examples that I have that shows that the peepers not only communicate with each other but they come and they bring friends to do the same thing this is an activity that they share with their friends and uh, and um, I want to say that in even some cases I've even seen some of the peepers share it with family members bring uh, brothers or their fathers uh, but here I believe that this is just a friend situation uh, but and these are three peepers uh, on in case you're new to this and haven't seen the uh, page I built on this or the other videos um, uh, peeping is the act of uh, staring up girls skirts um, at Union Square is particularly set up well for this for the peepers um, the stairs uh, are people sit on them all day and they face outward so that um, you can uh, be on the outskirts a peeper can stand on the outskirts um, and stare up the girls skirts who are sitting on the stairs um, and uh, so yeah and these peepers are have no doubt uh, just hoping to get um, a glimpse of panties that's what the uh, that's what a peepers ultimate goal is is to peep a girl's panties these are the girls who are being peeped in this particular uh, session um, and these are the peepers uh, and uh, oh good the reason I'm so excited about this video is because Lips's friend uh, right here really came through today he's doing what um, I call tandem style peeping um, he goes and he sits down directly in front of the girl uh, to peep up her skirt you can't see her that clearly once this guy gets done eating um, you can see she's a blonde girl right right behind him and he does a really interesting technique here that you're going to see um, I haven't actually seen it done to this detail um, he makes a passenger window out of his arm so that he can look through it um, at the panties uh, you'll see him put his hand on his knee and make a pass here he is looking up right there that there he's not doing it with the window um, but he, soon he's going to realize that this technique that he's using right now is too obvious that she can see he has nothing to hide behind. So he creates um, a little vehicle out of his body for himself. You'll see it here in a second. Yet yeah, again, he's trying to glance back. He's positioning himself where the panties um, are going to be, you know, in his best view. And okay, I zoom in here uh, and just give it a second he's going to uh, put his right hand up on his leg and and make this window there he goes he made the window and now he's looking back through so he can check the panties and uh, he's doing that technique uh, as it's a hiding place of sorts a, a safe zone I suppose to like he he's sitting inside something that he has to look out the window to see. Um, I think that that makes, you know, I think that's pretty logical. I was able to get this footage because um, I just set my camera down on the steps. I was I was sure that uh, that Lips and his friend weren't going to give me a, uh, any kind of a performance today because they knew I was sitting there and they Lips knows me even I'm sure he I think he even pointed me out to his friend and was like that's the guy who films us. Um, but this shows how Im how irresistible and important peeping is here. He's making the window again, and when he makes the window, oh, well, 
almost always when he makes the window he looks back through it but uh, but he couldn't resist he came uh, sat down next to me when this blonde sat down and uh, I set my camera on the step so I could get this footage and then I just you know looked around okay he's gonna make the window again make the window make the window with your he's it's the anticipation I want to say that even the anticipation, the buildup for this, is more than the actual peeping. There, he's looking again, looking again. This is an extremely aggressive style of peeping. Um, that uh, the closeness that's involved, the uh, the the amount of maneuvering that's involved to get the look. You can see that he's really pushing his endurance he's like uh, testing new grounds for the peeper I'd, I'd say that if peeping if peepers evolve um, this is the walking fish uh, and here he goes again I I personally feel that he's uh, he's failing when he doesn't do the passenger window technique um, and he's realizing that now uh, you see him shake his head um, it's only when he actually makes the window out of his right arm and looks through it, looks back through the window, through the passenger window at the pan, he's, he succeeds. Um, this one's still learning, he's still uh, developing his technique. Um, I want to say maybe this is even one of the first times that he's done tandem style peeping. Uh, the girl is aware of him, um, these are the points that he's failing at. I've been curious to know if anybody else has documented this sort of thing. I've shown these videos in my page to uh, other people and they haven't uh, seen this before. I'd like to think that I'm one of the first documentarians of peeping um, and especially maybe this discovery of the tandem style peeper. Um, but here he goes making the window looking back through the window. This is when he succeeds. Um, he can go for longer periods of time. You can see how he's keeping his head down looking like it was a natural move. Um, getting uh, sweaty faced, sweaty palms, the, the whole deal, that look. Um, you can tell he knows he's succeeding. He's learning through trial and error. He's honing this technique and possibly even discovering it for the first time right here on film. The tandem style passenger window technique. Now what's going to happen here shortly is uh, someone's going to come and sit down right in front of my camera and I'm going to lose my shot. At that point what I'm going to do is pick up the camera. It's going to be held out in front of me and it'll be a much more obvious uh, positioning. The peeper will notice. He'll see my camera, um, panic, and he'll flee the park. Uh, I won't have a chance to explain this when it happens at the end of the video, so I'm telling you about it now. I'm convinced that the thought process behind this passenger window technique is the peeper putting himself inside of a compartment, inside of a box of sorts, with a window, with a window in it. Uh, it just fits in with how a peeper thinks, how they view the world, and view themselves in it. It's, uh, it's his hiding place, an imaginary hiding place that he's creating with a window in it. Anyways, enough about that. Uh, the, I'm very proud, too, in the method, Methods of a Peeper 3, which is going to come up right after this. I'm going to get to show you another version of the tandem style peeping which is going to be the portrait peeper. I got him on film um, peeping this same lady here who was eventually scared away from the park by the portrait peeper but that'll be coming up here right after this video so stay tuned. This is when the peeper gets scared and since the hesitation, but then he flees the park. Thanks for coming to the site, normalbobsmith.com.